All right, guys, in this video, we are going to learn about interpolation. Now, to get us started, I've created a new project called binding. And within the project, I've generated a new component called test component. I have also simplified the HTML in the app component. So this displays just from app component in an H1 tag. And in the test component, I've moved the template in line. So it's in the same TypeScript file. And the template just displays welcome Vishwas. So if you save the project and run it, the template is displayed in the browser. From app component, which is from the app.component.html file. And then welcome Vishwas from the test component TypeScript file. All right, now if you take a look at the code, the name Vishwas is static. So the message will always be welcome Vishwas. But what we want is the name to be dynamic. For example, we greet the user that is currently logged in. Now the name may come from a web service or a web API, but the bottom line is the value may change at any point of time. So for that, what we do is create a new property in the class and let's call it name and assign it the string Vishwas. So public name is equal to Vishwas. Now, how do we get this value into our template? The answer is double curly braces. So instead of Vishwas, we use double curly braces and then inside the braces, we specify the property. In our case, it is the name property. And this syntax of a property or an expression within double curly braces is known as interpolation in Angular. By using interpolation, we are asking Angular to evaluate the content inside the curly braces and display the value when the component is rendered in the browser. So if we save this and refresh the browser, you can still see welcome Vishwas. But this time, the name comes from a class property and is not static. So for example, if I change the name to code evolution, the browser updates and we can see welcome code evolution. Of course, right now I am changing the name property manually, but in a practical application, the name can get its value from a variety of sources. So this is interpolation, which is the simplest way to bind data from a class to the template. All right, now let's take a look at some more examples to fully understand what interpolation can and cannot do. All right, I've closed the explorer and also the app component HTML because the test component TypeScript file is the only thing that we are going to be working with for the next couple of videos. All right, back to interpolation. Now the first example is about expressions. So I'm gonna add a new h2 tag and I will be using h2 tag only for visibility in the browser. And within the h2 tag, we can type within double curly braces, two plus two. Now what happens is Angular evaluates the expression and displays the result in the browser. So if you go back to the browser, you can see four, which is two plus two. Similarly, you can perform string concatenation as well. So I'm gonna add another h2 tag and within double curly braces this time, I'm going to say within a pair of double quotes, welcome, and then concatenate it with the name. So it is going to be welcome followed by the name, which is code evolution. So if we head back to the browser, you can see welcome code evolution. So this is a result of string concatenation. Angular will replace the value for the name property and then concatenate it with welcome string to display welcome code evolution in the browser. Now the next example is using JavaScript properties and methods within the curly braces. So for example, I can have another h2 tag and then over here, I'm going to have double curly braces and I'm going to type name dot length. So this will display the length of the string code evolution, which is 12. And in the browser, you can see 12 being displayed. Similarly, we can also use methods. For example, I can have another h2 tag and over here within double curly braces, we can have name dot to uppercase. And now the name will be displayed in uppercase in the browser. So code evolution in uppercase. 
Apart from the built-in JavaScript methods, you can also call methods defined in the component class. For example, let's create a new method. I'm going to call this greet user. And then we're going to return hello concatenated with the name. So this dot name, which represents this name property code evolution. Now back in the template, we can call this method. So I'm going to add a new h2 tag and within double curly braces, I can call greet user. Now, if you go back to the browser, you can see hello code evolution is rendered. So these are some of the things you can do with interpolation. But what are some of the things you cannot do? Now, the first one is assigning the expression to a variable. So for example, let me create a new h2 tag and within double curly braces, if you try a is equal to two plus two and head over to the browser, we have a problem rendering the HTML. And if you take a look at the console, you can see that we have a parse error, template parse error, bindings cannot contain assignments. So you cannot assign the result of an expression to a variable within double curly braces. So assignments are not possible. Now another limitation is the access to global variables such as window, screen and so on. So if you try to find out the URL of the current page using window.location.href, you get an error cannot read property location of undefined. So the template is not aware of the global JavaScript variables. Now, if you do need to access them, however, you can do it in the class and then bind it to the template. So for example, I can create a new property. Let's call this public site URL is equal to window dot location dot href. And then in the template, we can bind this site URL. So site URL. Now, if we go back to the browser, you can see HTTP localhost 4200. All right, just to quickly summarize what we have learned so far. With interpolation, you can bind data from the class to the template. And the syntax is double curly braces. And within the double curly braces, you have a property or an expression. So you can evaluate any JavaScript expression and the result will be displayed in the browser. You can also perform string concatenation. You can use JavaScript properties and methods as well. You can even call methods that you have defined in the components class within interpolation. However, you cannot perform assignments or access global JavaScript variables with interpolation. All right, that's pretty much it about interpolation. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.